everybody and welcome back to Carter Wild. So last time we were here, we actually finally became a full-fledged Jedi. Well, we already had the fancy lightsaber, but now we have all them fancy force powers and the title to go along with it. Also, what is this? Greetings, Padawan. This holocron contains material suitable for Jedi Padawan, Jedi Knights, and Jedi Masters. There are two teaching items suitable for Padawans on this holocron. Would you like me to list them? Uh... List items suitable for the Padawans. Teaching items available to Jedi Padawan. 1. Soresu, lightsaber form. 2. Harmony, force form. Oh! Um, access the Soresu lightsaber form. Accessing material. One moment. Form 3. The Suresu, or Resilience Form, also known as the Way of the Minoc. This form will aid in defense against blasters, but should not be used against multiple opponents. Well done, Padawan. You have succeeded in learning this technique. Continued practice is suggested. Is there something else I can help you with? Ah. Uh. List items suitable for Teaching Padawan. items available to Jedi Padawan. Okay. One, ah, Soresu, lightsaber form. Two, Harmony, force form. Access the Harmony force form. The Harmony force form puts the Jedi <coughs> in touch with the flow of the living force, increasing their ability to use their powers and offering a slight increase to their ability to predict and avoid enemy attacks. Oh. I could use that. Well done, Padawan. You have succeeded in learning this technique. Continued practice is suggested. Is there something else I can help you with? Nope. Greetings, Padawan. This holocron contains material suitable for Jedi Padawan, Jedi Knights, and Jedi Masters. There are two teaching items suitable for Padawans on this holocron. Would you like me to list them? Uh, I want to see if there's if I can look at these. I'm sorry, Padawan. You are not authorized to view these materials. Is there something else I can help you with? Uh, apparently not. Okay. It was worth a try. So, will they be in my inventory now too? It is good to see Johnny has returned to the Way of the Light. You are to be commended for your role in this. Your actions give us great hope for the future. Your training is now complete, Padawan. And perhaps now, it is time we dealt with the matter of the dream you and Bastila shared. When we heard of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorok recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures here on Tantooine. This one in particular lies to the east of this enclave. We sent a Jedi to investigate, but he has not returned. Perhaps sending him in the first place was a mistake. The Force is guiding you through your visions. It may be that exploring the ruins is a task tied to your destiny. That is why the Council has now decided you should be the one to investigate this. The secrets to stopping Malak may be hidden within those ruins. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. Oh, what happened to the Jedi who went to investigate? We do not know. <clears throat> that is one of the things you must investigate. We fear the worst. Is there anything else you want to know? Uh, why doesn't Master Rook like me? Master Rook may seem harsh and critical, but he understands the dangers that lie in your path. He wants you and Bastila to be fully prepared when you finally face Lord Malak. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila. And for you. But you must draw strength from each other. May the Force be with you. Oh, 
Well, we want Karth because he is a glorious commander. And now he is apparently a commander. <clears throat> I demand justice! The Central Family is a blight upon Dantooine! They must be punished! The Council will look into this matter, Mr. Metale. You must be patient. Your accusations have no proof. And we do not want you stirring up trouble with the Sandrals, if there is some mistake. Mistake? My son Shen is missing! How can there be any doubt the Sandrals are to blame? There are other possible explanations for your son's disappearance. Ah, you Jedi are good for nothing but talk. I shall only wait so long before I take action on my own. As dangerous as the threat from Darth Malak and the Sith may be, we Jedi cannot simply abandon our other responsibilities. The Council has promised, Alan Matali, we will look into a son's disappearance. Should you have time, Padawan, you may want to investigate this matter. Uh, well, I shall look into it at once. <clears throat> if Shen Matali has not returned to his father, it may ignite a savage and bloody feud between the Matali and Sandral estates. We must not allow that to happen. Your study and training are important, of course. But the Jedi are not a cloistered order. Our influence and teachings must spread beyond the walls of our academies. It is in our real world that we truly prove ourselves worthy of the title Jedi. You would do well to remember this young Padawan. Not to mention that I wouldn't mind getting out of this enclave for a bit. I mean, come on, how bad could it be? Okay. <clears throat> what? I guess I should level him up real fast. There we go. What? The Jedi. Hello. If you are seeking information, perhaps the Jedi Council will help. I'm afraid I cannot. Rude. Greetings, friend. I think I can safely assume you are a member of the Jedi Order. Has the Council agreed to hear our petition? Uh, yes, they're waiting for you now. Ah, yes. Thank you, Master Jedi. Stay here, Rilka. I'll be back in an hour or so. Yes, dear. Good luck. I hope the Jedi Council will listen to Gar. If they don't, I don't know what we'll do. Got any new stuff?
I should note that these lightsaber forms, <clears throat> they're not generally in the game. I actually, it's one of the mods I put in. Which is why, for instance, that that's why they're actually going into the um, inventory. Weirdly enough. And, um, <clears throat> sorry. What's this? Oh, stuff I didn't move earlier. Anyway, um, along with that, we. I don't remember what else I was going to say, actually. But yeah, they're not normally in the game, which is why they keep going into my inventory. Oh, and it's also why I can sell them, though. I don't think they're worth anything. <coughs> uh, sorry, my allergy's been messing up. This is I'm here on behalf of the Jedi Council. You have come from the Jedi Council. Master Matali wishes to speak with you. I will inform him that you are here. Remain at this location. Until he arrives. Okay. Can can I just kill My him? My protocol droid tells me you are here on behalf of the council. I was beginning to think my demands had been ignored. Though I think your time would be better spent interrogating the Sandrils as to the whereabouts of my son Shen. Why are you so certain the Sandrils are to blame? Many years ago, I brought my family here to Dantooine to escape the crush of humanity on the core worlds. Soon after we settled here, the Sandrils arrived, and they have been a plague upon my house ever since. Somehow I imagine the story from the Sandrils would sound just about the same, don't you? The injustices the Sandrils have committed against the Matales are far too numerous to name. But the Council is well aware of our many disputes. Recently, I discovered several Sandral droids trespassing on my land. What were they doing here? I have no idea what nefarious purpose lay behind their arrival. My own assassination, perhaps? Destruction of my property? Maybe a simple spy mission? I wasn't about to find out. My own security droids destroyed the invaders. Not a single one survived. It was shortly after this incident that Shen, my only son and heir to the Metali estate, vanished. Obviously, Nurik, the unscrupulous head of the Sandral clan, has abducted my son in retaliation for the destruction of his droids. I shall go to uh, go and speak to him. The only resolution possible is the immediate return of my son. Why does the Council insist on stalling? The life of my son is at stake. Is it possible? Yes, of course. Now I understand. I am a man of the world, Jedi. I know how things are done. I will make a contribution of a thousand credits to the Council in exchange for rescuing Shen from the Sandrils. I will present the credits directly to you, of course. Whether the Council ever learns of this donation is completely up to you. I understand you are upset. Rest assured, I will find your son. Nevertheless, my offer still stands. A thousand credits for Shen's safe return. Know, however, that I will not sit idly by much longer. Eventually, I will take whatever action is necessary to rescue my son, including raising the entire Sandral estate. You would be willing to risk open war over this? It is the Sandrals who have started this, not I. And here I thought you would blame us if we failed. It seems everyone is responsible for your actions, except for you. I don't need to stand here and listen to such impertinence. An impressed Garth? That interjection was very Jedi-like. What can I say? You pick up a few things. I'm afraid Alana's not just making idle threats. He is rash and foolish enough to attempt a full assault on the Sandral estate. Such action would result in an all-out war between the families. I've seen men like Alan Matali before. He's so convinced that his hatred is justified, he's prepared to do anything. And if we don't intervene, there will be war. 
Until you find Shen, Jedi, we have nothing further to discuss. I suggest you hurry south to their estate, lest I take matters into my own hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you, Mr. Cathound. Look, more of them. What is? How are the cat hounds attacking you? Time to rumble. Where are you going to? All the time. Um, probably not. Ah, ha, ha, I see it. I didn't get it. Oh my god. You sought them out? Down you go! No, you should go back to her. She is lonely and needs your support. Now we can go kill these things you guys are freaking out about so much. <laughs> Oh. 
ambassador. Did you ever think? That was nearly five yes. years ago. I was still an apprentice. My battle meditation had not even manifested itself. Yet even then, I had the wisdom to obey the will of the council. Unlike Revan. I guess. Still, do you ever wonder if things could have been different? I mean, would Revan and Malak still have been corrupted if the council had supported them instead of dragging its feet? Do not blame Revan's corruption on the council. Your Republic saw only the threat of the Mandalorians, but the wisdom of the Masters saw beyond the immediate threat. What did they see exactly? There was something lurking out there. Something that devoured Revan and Malak, and many other Jedi. Had the Council sent us all into the unknown, how many more would have fallen? So you're saying we should have done nothing? Just let the Mandalorians conquer us on a post? I mean, the Republic was under attack, and the Order abandoned us. We did not abandon you. But the Council were not about to throw lives away foolishly. In time, we would have aided you against the Mandalorians. But you couldn't wait. Revan and Malak offered a quicker answer. And the Republic chose to walk the easy path, rather than the path of wisdom. Now we see the results all around us. You asked me if I think things could have been different. I know they could have. If Revan had only listened to the Council, millions of innocent people would still be alive. Yeah, right. And every single one of them would have been speaking Mandalorian. I, I think we're done here. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Oh, okay. What's that? Oh! Crystal cave. I guess apparently you can't smash all of these. Oh well. Looks like that's everything. So yes, there is a crystal cave here. 
just not as easy to find. I mean, I suppose it wasn't difficult to find, but still. Sector B and Riza saw someone moving south of there. Take a couple of troops and find out who it is. If they look suspicious, terminate. <coughs> that, Mr. Albino. You can stop that. Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. Yeah. That's what you get. Jedi Council. The Council? If you are here because of Shen Matale's disappearance, you are wasting your time. 
The sandals are not involved. This is nothing but a Matali witch hunt. I'm not in league with the Metales, but I must speak with Nurik. You had left orders he was not to be disturbed, but given the circumstances, I will make an exception. Go into the main hall. Nurik will meet with you there. <clears throat> I have been informed by my protocol droid that you wish to speak to me. I'm here on behalf of the Jedi Council. I am investigating the disappearance of Shin Metale. I brought my family here to find peace and safety, not to be harassed and treated like common criminals. Your council has no authority here, and I respectfully ask you to leave this property at once. Jedi are renowned for their fairness in pursuit of justice. There is nothing to fear from us, unless you have something to hide. That's quite a line. You actually believe that? Don't you think someone is allowed to value privacy? Privacy is all well and good, but justice must be valued higher. Is it not obvious to you that this man hides something? Actually, it is. All I'm saying is that not everyone welcomes the sight of a Jedi with open arms. Better get used to it. I trust you will show yourself out. If not, my security droids will be sure to deal with you. You are here from the Council, are you not? Looking for Shen Metale? Who are you? My name is Rahasia. Nurik is my father. He has not been himself since Cassus disappeared. He is mad with grief, and he is convinced the Metales are responsible. He is not thinking rationally. Does, ha does this have something to do with what happened to Shen? My father is a good man. When my mother died, he raised me and my brother by himself. He loves his children, and we love him. I just don't want you to judge him too harshly. I only want to find Shin. You must understand that Father has been under a terrible strain. I have no wish to disobey him, but there are matters where even my father's authority is not absolute. Please, tell me what happened. My father has kidnapped Shen Metale. He is holding him prisoner here in the compound. He feels this is a way to get back at the Metales, a way to get even for the disappearance of my brother Cassus. I see. Well, there is the answer we seek. The Jedi Council should be informed of this at once. You don't think that perhaps there's more to look at here, do you? That maybe everything isn't what it appears? Of course not. It seems very simple to me. The Council must be allowed to decide the next step. No. Since Cassus went missing, my father has become unstable. He might hurt him if you do that. He no longer even cares if the Metales are responsible for what happened to Cassus. I am afraid my father will simply kill Shen out of a mad, misguided lust for vengeance. Happened to Cassus? I do not know. I am worried for him, truly. But I do not believe <coughs> Alan Matale had anything to do with it. And now my father may take it out on Shen. Please, find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. Take this key. It will open an unguarded door at the rear of the estate. You and Shen can make your escape through there. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are Shen's only hope. Hey, I'll go now. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope. So what you're saying is I am now Obi-Wan Kenobi. Excellent. Come along, Bastila. You must follow Obi-Wan to the depths of this pit. What can I do? Why oh, you know heal? There we go. Ready? I'm sure. here. Oops. <laughs> 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 
by me. No problem. Got it. want with me? Are you working for my father? I'm here to rescue you. Rescue me? No. I won't leave. It's too dangerous. I'll protect you. It's not my own safety I'm concerned about. I'm worried about the fate of Nurik's daughter, Rahasia. She's been trying to convince her father to release me ever since I was captured. If I escape, Nurik will think Rahasia is to blame. Nurik is insane with grief over the loss of his son, Cassus. If I leave with you, it is Rahasia who will suffer. I cannot allow that. How can I get you to come with me? If you can convince Rahasia to escape with us, I will accompany you. Though I do not know if she'd be willing to turn her back on her home and family. Who could imagine a Sandra doing such a thing for the sake of a Matali? But if she will not go, then I too shall stay. I would rather face my own death than have her face her father's wrath because I escaped. I will go speak to her. Thank you. I wish you luck. They're in love. So cute. Like, oh my god, so cute. Oh, I wish I had something like no that. Problem. Got it. Oh well. I'll just move on with my life. Wee. What's in this door? Nothing. What's in this door? Right. Oh, this one. What are you doing? There you are. Have you found Shen yet? He won't leave without you. Shen can be so stubborn sometimes. If one of the security droids sees me wandering the halls, father will get suspicious. I can't risk it. I know Shen would rather die than leave me here alone to face the wrath of my father. Tell Shen I will meet you outside the gates. I will wait as long as I can, but you must hurry. First, I'm gonna loot this stuff. Did I already loot these? I did. <clears throat> okay, come on, Shin. You're back. Yes. I pray she is not just telling me what I want to hear, but I will have to take that chance. Hurry then, we must not keep Rahasia waiting. Let's get going. Shen, 
You're safe. Rahasia. Well, thank goodness you managed to escape. It was all thanks to this kind Jedi that we managed to get this far at all. I thank you, Jedi, for all that you have done for us. It was no problem. No, we know that you must have gone to great personal risk to get us out of the Sandral State undetected. No reward is necessary. But surely we can... There you are, Shen. Father! Mr. Matale! Rahesha! Father! Mr. Sandro! Nurik! Alan! I knew Zach. this was all your doing! I knew you had captured my son! You had taken my Cassus from me long before that! You started it! I don't want to hear any of your excuses! Now I will get revenge for your transgressions! You two need to just calm down. Please listen to him, Father. <clears throat> Why should I listen to the Jedi? All you want is to remain with that Sandral harlot. My daughter is not a harlot, Matale dog! Why don't you try listening to your children? Our children don't know enough of what's good for them to make a reasonable decision. It's better to let older, wiser heads like ours make the decision. Rahasia and I don't want you to make decisions for us. We want to live alone away from you. You... you insolent boy! If you want to live alone, then so be it! I disown you! Never set foot in my house again! Chen. I don't care. Rahasia and I will live on our own if you won't accept us. You will do no such thing! I am your father, and I order but, you to come back with but me! But you just disowned father, him! I won't. Rahesha, you will not leave with this... this Matale boy! I am, Father, and you can't stop me! We're leaving for the Enclave! You foolish girl! Don't try to force them to return. You expect us to just let them leave? Droids, stop them! You will not turn your droids on my daughter! Droids, don't let them take Rahesha! We appear to be at an impasse then, and they got away! It is your fault, darling. You were always too violent for your own good. Me? You were the one who rushed out here with war droids. Shut up! Do not tell me what to do, Jedi. The Council will hear of the trouble you caused here today. Indeed they shall. Okay, I can live with that. Because I don't really care what you guys have to say so yeah you can you can tell them whatever you want cuz I, I really couldn't care less and I'm going back to the grove apparently which is not what I wanted to do not at all what I wanted to do Just gonna go back this way now By the way, Calpurgius, whatever his name is, Calamarca. That guy, he had, her, her, her brother, he's dead. Cat hounds went nom. I imagine he was delicious. I would not know. But I would imagine that the rich boy tasted delicious. But if, yeah, if I remember correctly, he got nommed on. That goes back to the grove. Ah, fuck it. 
Cassus is diary. Fight me. I can't blame him though. So this place is no longer sealed. What? <laughs> That's a Tuscan Raider. Uh, no. I think the droid is trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. Sulka! I recognize this language as well. It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. Why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? It must be referring to Revan. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered this droid when they explored these ruins. What are you? 
Why are you here? How long have you been here? Ten revolutions would take more than 20,000 years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly 5,000 years older than the Republic itself. There must be some mistake. What is the Star Forge? But what is it? The droid is obviously not programmed with the knowledge we seek. The Starforge sounds like some type of weapon, perhaps. In fact, it could be anything. There it is. Could it have been a factory or a weapons plant? Maybe. That might explain how the Sith were able to amass a fleet so quickly. But I suspect the Starforge is more powerful than a mere factory. Maybe the droid has more information we can use. It seems to respond to you. Perhaps you should ask it something else. Who are the builders? These builders must have been an extinct people. Though it is strange, there's no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy make no mention of them. In the years before the Republic, the Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy. But they never constructed an empire. In fact, I know of no species that would fit with this information. The droids beat Selkath. Maybe they were the builders. <laughs> Have you seen a builder recently? Tell me of Revan and Malak. Is that Nemo? Is that Nemo? The droid must be talking about Nemo. No! Nemo! To investigate, and it cost him his life. Nemo, no! How can I open the sealed doors behind you? Revan and Malik unlocked the sealed door and uncovered the secrets of the Starforge. Now Malik is using the Starforge to fuel his conquest of the Republic. We have to find out what they uncovered. We have to find a way to unseal these doors to learn more about the Starforge. 
The Republic is depending on us. Okay. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Not going to lie, I kind of got really immersed into this and completely forgot <laughs> that, you know, I was trying not to make a super long video. Anyway, so, as always, thank you for, thanks for watching, and remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll catch you next time. In the meantime, I'm going to grieve over poor Nemo. <laughs> Nemo!